Hello, Dr. Sleep right here, and we are going to show you how to add fill or take fill out of your neck nest. And the reason why I put the zippers on the neck nest, I was told not to by many people because it is a mess to take, to take fill out and to add fill in. But the reason why I put them on is in the rare case where somebody is, let, let's say, real tall or they're really large, I might want to add a little bit of fill. Or somebody small or has a lot of degeneration in their neck, sometimes I would take some fill out. That is less than 10% of the time. Over 90% of the time, you don't need to touch the fill once it's broken in. And sometimes I have people uh, that want to use it right away and not go through the break-in period, so they take some fill out at the beginning and then add the fill back in. But in order to add the fill in a way where it's not going to make everything a mess, especially if you have the neck nests that have these little plastic tabs on. These are hidden zippers. These tabs are designed to be cut off. The reason why I even kept, that, kept them on there was just in case you wanted to adjust it a little bit. So what you would do is you take the top of your neck nest and you hit it, right? You hit the fill down because this zipper right here, it's, it's a small zipper and the fibers can get stuck. So you pat the, fill, the, pat the top of the neck nest down by holding it like that then you take this little zipper here and you will open up the fill. Sometimes the, that open up the zipper. Sometimes the, 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 um, the fibers get stuck on the zipper so you have to clean it out a little bit with your thumb in there. And then I open up the, the neck nest. Now, you gotta do this very carefully. The neck nest is now opened up and you can see the fill. When you want to remove the fill and only remove a handful at a time and then use because if you you remove too much because it's down it will either get too soft or if you add too much it will be too hard so you put your hand in right into the neck nest and then you grab a ball of fill and you make sure that it's completely in your hand before you take it out so now I have a ball of fill and then I would carefully put that into a bag, carefully. And then close up that bag just in case you want to add the fill back in. And simply by adding the fill, you just grab the ball, put it into the neck nest, and make sure that it goes all the way down. Now, I recommend doing this outside because as you can even see, I have some fill on my hand. So I just take the fill, put it in. And then what I'll do is I typically will clean off the zipper with just a sweep of my finger on both sides. And then I just zip it back up. And then I just pat all the, all the fibers off. And that is how you add fill and remove fill from your neck nest. Remember, only 10% of the time does this need to be done after the break-in period. And do it outside because it took me... A long, uh, it took me a, a, a bunch of times of making a mess to get it down right. So be careful and do it outside. Thank you.